I bought a new project car, guys. It is a 1977 Chevy Blazer, the K5. On this episode, guys, stay tuned. I take it for its first trip. Then we drop it off for stage one of the Chevy build before the Brisbane four-wheel drive show. You're gonna wanna see what this thing looks like when Berkey's finished with it. You got 39s. Yeah, well, that's what I ordered. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like this. So you might be wondering why on earth have I got a Chevy Blazer? Well, I tell you what, this thing was honestly parked around the corner from me at work. We ran inside and I was like, who owns this car? Is it for sale? Was it a smash repairs? They basically told me, piss off, get out of here. A week later, and this is four days before we're leaving for America, this car was parked across the road at another smash repairer. So I walked across the road again. Who owns this car? And he goes, me, why? I said, can I buy it? And he goes, you wouldn't believe it, I'm putting it on Gumtree right now. So I swapped out my busted, rusted Kingswood. I had a HZ wagon that I was gonna do up. I want a little coffee runner, something to run around the Goldie on. We did a little cash swap his way. He got the rust bucket and I got a running blazer. I've owned a few four wheel drives over the years and I can tell you what, nothing has turned heads like this thing. Whether you're young, old, it doesn't matter. The old school blue and white combo looks incredible. This thing came absolutely jacked. I haven't touched the suspension. I haven't touched anything on this car other than just a couple of little me mechanical repairs, a couple of seat belts to make it pass for uh, the Australian roads, and that is it, guys. So, she is a five-seater, maybe a four-seater. We're gonna call it five. The best part is, is this back canopy can come off. So you're literally kicking back there with your armrests, living the dream, breeze in your hair. She's still a left-hand drive, you'll notice, which is um, fine for me because I'm used to <laughs> driving left-hand drive, haven't been over in America for five months last year. Absolutely fell in love with the big girl. The plan, well, the original plan, to be honest, was to rip it off the road and fully redo it. Now look, the body, it's got good bones on it. It's got a little bit of surface rust. It's got that little patina look, um, which I absolutely love. So the new plan is to just, just drive it, just enjoy it. So I brought it up to Berkster, a little bit of Explore built specialty. Give it a little clean up, which uh, he's been working on. We're just gonna get it running, get it driving like a dream, throw some nice wheels and tires on, and that's basically where we are today. So, a couple months ago, I decided, bugger it, we've got it running mechanically, I'm gonna take it straight up the beach. Now, that did not go as planned. We're gonna cut back to the big girl's first trip over on Stratty. Let's go. Here we are, we're down at Explore HQ. If you're not following us on social media, guys, make sure you go follow The Explore Life uh, and jump on and follow all of our other pages. We'll, they're all in the, the description below. Basically, we put a poll up, which vehicle should we take? So we've got the new Rebel. The Rebel's gone up to get uh, a bit of work done at EC Off Road. We're starting that build process on the daily. And I said, what should we take? The big blazer, the disco, all the patrol. We made you guys vote, you voted, take the big dog. So. It's a mate's birthday. I'm just gonna film a little behind the scenes trip over to Stratty while I'm back in Oz. And you wanted the blazer. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little bit, I'm very, I'm very nervous. <laughs> this thing, we've had a little bit of motor work done just to make sure it runs. You know, it's legal, which is the main thing, but it, she's rough. She's very, very rough. So is it gonna make it to Stratty and back? I do not know, but you guys wanted to see the blazer. I wanna see the blazer on the beach. So this is, the Blazers, first trip out. We're gonna pack it up, we're gonna load the gear up, we're gonna show you, there's nothing in it. There's no dual battery, there's no fridges, there's nothing for camping. So I'm gonna raid the shed, grab all the bits and pieces we've got for a quick little three night trip away, and we're hitting the beach. So stay tuned, let's see if the Blazer makes it, and let's see how it goes on the soft sand, because I have no idea. It's gonna be interesting. Let's go. All right, so I've been raiding the joys of having camping gear that's accumulated over the last 15 years is I've got random shit everywhere. I've got a fridge and the go block, which I think might be the go. I'm gonna throw the Dometic in. We've got the go block. I'm gonna see if the go block is fully charged, uh, 100 amp hour, literally put it in, plug the fridge in. We'll see if it lasts. My mates like to raid my shed, so it's always a surprise to find out if I have any camping gear left. Full life duffel bag, 40s and a couple of pairs of shirts. Obviously, no rooftop tent life. So we got a swag in here, in the Explore Life swag bags. If you haven't checked these out, guys, fully waterproof, PVC, dust proof. Hopefully I can fit all this in the back of the blazer. I'm gonna keep raiding. We'll see what else we can find. Oh, 
fire extinguisher. Yep. I better chuck two Max tracks in there just in case. I've just realized I booked the barge for the Thursday and the boys have booked for the Friday afternoon. So I'm running fully solo for the first day, which is fine. Oh, here we go. Barbecue. That'll come in handy. Covered in sand. Ugh. Some of these are used and the rest are going on builds that we've got coming up. I reckon two. I always take four, but the fact we're gonna be really short on space. Let's see what can fall on my head. Max Trax recovery kit. This one is well, well worn. Yeah, shackles, fuse shackle. That will keep me out of trouble. That and that, that's recovery sorted. Job done. So I just thought I'd better check tides because I'm a little bit, you know, new car. Don't want the big V8 to overheat on the real soft sand because it's a fair run on high tide. Uh, to get down. And then I thought, does the four-wheel drive even work in this? I don't know. I actually have no idea. So for anyone who hasn't seen the blazer, how good's the blazer? There is a shifter here in the middle of the floor. Don't know how to use it. I might have to do some Googling. Probably should have checked these things before I took it up the beach. Let's find out, or before we take it up the beach. Hey, brass. Quick one. This blazer. Uh, full drive, has it got full high and full low or? I don't know, man, um, I'm assuming it is. Like it's got a full transfer case on it, but we didn't try to operate it. All right, no worries. Yeah. I'll, I'll do some Googling. That was my mechanic. He hasn't played with it yet. So I think there's high and then low, because it just moved. Let's see what Mr. Google says. Google is your mother. I think that's low range, let's see what happens. <laughs> Okay, after doing some Googling, I'm pretty sure this is the box I've got. Four highs at the bottom, two high, neutral, four low. Judging by that, it may have been in four high without the hubs locked in, because they're a manual locking hub the whole time I've been driving it. So I've come up one, let's see if that disengages the front wheels, because I can feel them grabbing before. <laughs> All right, we've worked it out. It's a little bit finicky, but all the way down, four high, two high, neutral, low range. So I think it seems to be working. When the hubs were locked, I could feel that it engaged the full drive. So I think we've got full drive. We'll find out on the beach when we've got some soft sand. I can actually see it moving, but we're on, baby. Let's pack her up. We're going to the beach. All right, well, that's good enough for me. Let's load her up. Wolf is here, we are on the ferry. We're off to Stratty. I'm excited. It's been a long time since I've been over to Stratty. So it's a good start. We've made it on the barge. Next stop, maybe the pub, we'll see. No, look, I think we're gonna, I've booked a campsite at Flinders tonight. It's just me and Wolf solo. So we'll just roll the swag out somewhere chill. Uh, wake up in the morning, hit the coffee shop, real cruisy wait for the crew to come over in the afternoon and uh, we'll make the run down the beach and pick a camp with the rest of the crew. But tonight, it's just me and the buff. That's a bit of fun to do the old solo mission every now and again. So we're into it. We got cold beers in the fridge. Life's good, baby. Stratty time. Well, we made it over to Point Lookout. I've missed this place, but uh, gotta sneak up to the pub, have a little feed, being lazy tonight. And then we'll be down on Main Beach camping, cooking up a storm later, but for tonight, sneaky little feed, make for an easy setup down the beach. You behave, Buff, back in a minute. Happy days, time for a cold beer. Who wants to win all of this? 
Welcome to the Explore Dream. Join the crew today for your chance to get access to exclusive merch, discount deals you won't believe, and go in the draw to win some of the wildest adventure prizes in Australia. Best part is every cent is gonna be rolled back into giving you guys bigger and badder prizes. To kick it off, a double off-road jet ski trailer. We got the Patriot X2 Tourer and the Mighty Explore Life Hilux. To celebrate guys, we're letting you sign up completely for free till the end of the month. You'll be able to grab exclusive merch, access the discounts, and you'll even be in the draw to win the double off-road jet ski trailer. Don't miss out, join the crew today. Righto. Quick little pack up. What do you reckon, Buff? We'll chuck this swag straight in the car. Straight down the beach. Looks like a beautiful little day. So this is actually a good little planning trip for what I'm gonna do to the big girl. Any tips, any ideas of what I should do, let me know. But I'm thinking this canopy, it comes clean off, guys. So from there, through to here, that, that comes off. You got the seats in the back. I should give you a proper tour of this thing. So you got the seats in the back there currently stacked up with a bit of gear but i want to leave the seats in the back i could roof them out and go a full bed but i think to be able to chuck four or five people in and run up the beach top off would be sick so what i'm thinking take this fiberglass top off run a canvas top and sides that way if it rains you can zip the sides back on but if you want to pull the whole thing off you can if you want to just leave the top section on i can just leave the top on uh, which will give you shade, but still, you know, you just, you're in the elements. And then I'm noticing, I just had to dust the hell out of this swag bag to put it back because it's covered in sand. So I definitely want to have a fridge mounted in there. Maybe I'll do a light ladder rack that you sort of can't even see, just a flat pioneer rack just above the canvas. So I can throw some swags and bits and pieces up top, or I don't want to let too many ideas out of the bag but I think I'm gonna sea deck the back section of the interior and the sides, and then that way it's nice and easy to just get in there with a blower and just blow it out, because people are gonna be jumping in and out sandy. So I think if I treat it like the back, like it's a boat, that's my thinking. Sea deck, blow it out, job done. Let me know your thoughts, color scheme. I was gonna go silver, but I think the blue and white looks too cool. I wanna do a fair bit of chrome deleting let us know guys, this trip I'm just gonna feel it out, get a few more ideas, but it's slowly coming together. Oh, all right, so brand new Indeflate. I got one in every car. I'm gonna drop a little bit out. If you haven't used an Indeflate before guys, literally clip onto the valve, clip the other one onto the valve, pull this and you're underway. So simple, so easy. Don't mind these filthy tires. There'll be some BF Goodrich tires going on soon before I get a flat and these things howl. Well, as I was going around Aaron, that one is already flat on the bottom. It's down at like 12 pound. It definitely wasn't that flat when I left because I had a look. So that's why you run Beef Goodrich tires. First trip without them. I've got a leaky tire. So I'm gonna have to go put some air in that one. I've dropped the rest down just to about 22. See how it goes. I can go down more, but it did it pretty easy with full pressures in the tires. It just sort of seemed to float over with the big V8. So let's go check out the beach. Oh, what a day. There we go, the big girl on the beach. Yew. Oh, I just took a step back and hurt my ankle. Ah, <laughs> I know somebody wants to swim. What do you reckon? Ah, oh, we're alive. Tell you what, if you're having a week, jump in the car, go down for a morning swim at the beach. That'll bloody liven you up. I'm just letting a little bit more air out. I wasn't happy with how much pressure. So, new car, you gotta sort of feel it out on the beach. Depends how heavy your car is, depends how much bag your side walls have got in your tires. So I'm probably gonna drop these down to 18, then we should just glide over the top of everything. And then I can always go down a bit lower if I need to, but I think 18 will be good. She was just a little bit boggy, which I didn't like. I don't wanna put too much load on the big girl because yeah, this thing hasn't really been driven. So, needs to get me home, the big blazer. 
we might sneak up to the pub. Even though I've got food, I'm being lazy. Yeah, by the time we have a feed, the boys will be here. We've just had a swim. The wolf's all tucked out. So, let him dry so my car's not a complete write-off and there we'll go. We're gonna make our way down Main Beach. Catch up with the boys as they come onto the beach. It's a stunning day. Fingers crossed the tide is in my favour. It should be low tide. Hopefully I don't have to go through too much soft sand. Let's see how we go. Up the blazer. pull down onto the beach there is a long soft section uh, at this little cut in wish me luck we're on let go A little bit of low range. We're out of there, baby! Yeah. Oh shit, that was a worry. Woo! I don't know what was going on there, but we got it done. That was wild. That should be full drive. It was like I was in two-wheel drive. I think the high range, you just couldn't handle it. Needed a little bit more grunt. Go to blazer! We're good, boss. We're coming. Ah! I thought the fuel gauge was working because it's been, it filled up and then it was dropping as I was driving. It stalled and I turned around and I started driving back and I'm officially out of fuel. So the boys have got a jerry on, so they're gonna come and grab me. Oh, blazy, you thirsty, thirsty bugger. That sucks, Cooper. You didn't tell me to fill up, mate. Hey? Well, this worst place to be stuck as long as the tide doesn't get me. May as well chill out. <laughs> doesn't matter. Nothing's ruining this day. As long as it's fuel and it's not the car not starting. Because that would suck. But that won't ruin the day either. We're on. Oh well, the waiting game is on. Me and Buff are going to share a beer. Stay here, buddy. And uh, wait for the cavalry to arrive and laugh in my face. Bugger. <laughs> Win some, you lose some. Uh, Benny, you got a copy, Benny? Yeah, mate, where are you? <laughs> right in front of you. <laughs> oh, you got your door open. <laughs> yeah. Here come the cavalry. <laughs> you. Oh, I'm just hanging out. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm full out of fuel, eh? Hey? Can't oh, believe it. You. Oh, sh Alright, I think we have bigger dramas. I think my fuel pump shit itself. And that could be what's going on. So I gotta put this in neutral. Ah oh, no! This is not not what we had on the agenda. It's been going so sick too. I think it's fuel pump. Normally you can hear the fuel pump kicking on and it's not doing that. So fun and go. Let's see if we can figure out what's happening there. Oh well, fuel pump's working. We've got fuel going to it. We've got all the spark plugs are there. It's like it's got no spark. It's like it's not firing. Fuel's there, air's there. Spark's the only thing that should... So we're not sure unless we flooded it. I do have a fuel pump switch that I'm not 100% sure if it was on or off. It's definitely on now, but now we're running low on battery. We're just down the road here to camp. So we're just gonna drag it down to camp and then uh, let it sit reassess then at least we got time this tide's coming up so we want to get down before that we'll just do a kilometer tow and um hopefully we can fix it at camp oh thanks mate yeah no worries yeah good on you boys cheers so that was the trip over to Stratty, guys. Not exactly what we were hoping to pull off, but we had a hell of a time regardless. So I ended up taking that down to Nath Sebring Mechanical. What it was, we had changed the distributor on it and the Dizzy happened to be faulty. So it actually melted from the inside out and that was game over for us. So we replaced the Dizzy, the thing was good to go. Now, Brizzy's show was coming in hot, so I dropped it up at Berkey's, left it with him, 
have a little once over, give it a little tidy up, and I said put your Berkey Explore built twist on it. So that brings us to right now. But first, before we get carried away, check out Berkey having a bit of fun with it. I'm lost for words on this one. Base has come up, I've just got home. I've been, I've been putting this off for quite a while. He's like, I've got this car for you, I've got this car for you. It's American, I want to bring it up. Doesn't need much, just drop it off, tinker with it. She's good. Well, she's here. It's huge, it's very high, and I want to make it higher. But yeah, this is her. 400 cubic inch motor. She's big, she's loud, she's American, she's blue. It's actually not too bad, it's not great, but plan for the build. Typical, Matt was just like, ah, you'll work it out. I probably will work it out, he won't like it, but you know. We've got some BF Goodrich wheels, ROH. He's like, we're gonna take it to the show, the Brizzy 4x4 show, which is <laughs> two weeks from now, so not much of a turnaround on my end. So, wheels, tires, I'm gonna try and do something with the paint because it's very chalky and, and average. As far as the patina goes on it, I, I like it. It should clean up quite nice. Here's right there. Tire fitment, Matt was like, ah, oh, you know, don't really want to go bigger on the tires. I was like, you don't want to go bigger. We're going bigger on the tires. Picked up one off a of mate. It's a super old, I don't even know if BF still do this tire. It's a competition sort of tire but it's the right size that I want to run. So I've went and grabbed that. I'm going to do a fitment, see if it fouls. It's on a patrol rim, plus 10 offset. I can allow for the offset. It's just the diameter. I want to make sure it doesn't foul and offsets are going to work. That's what we got. And this is what we're going for. K5 Blazer, baby. I'm going to give it a quick wash. Get rid of all the big dirt and stuff that's already on it. So when I do buff it, I'm not going to rub it further into the paint, make it worse. Won't be a perfect clean, but I'm just going to rip it in. It's late. So quick clean, get all the hard stuff off it, it'll be dry by tomorrow, and then I can rip in with the buff. <laughs> Crazy, that is, that's good stuff. Just rocked up back at Berkey's house. Here he comes. Hey, you bought my goodies. I brought the goodies. Mate, How are hey, you, bloke? Good, mate. How are you? So, you told me you ordered some gear. Yeah, it was just wheels. Just wheels. Yeah. And tyres. Yeah. They rocked up to the shed. Sweet. And I got a little surprise. Good. Let's go. Let's have a look. <laughs> Wait until you see what this bloke has done. You know how old this car is? Yeah. You know it's not the fastest thing in the They're world. They're not right? the biggest tyres you can get. They're pretty close. Have a bloody go at these things, would ya? Now, that camera probably doesn't do it any justice. Yeah, well, that's what I ordered. But <laughs> I was thinking you might have surprised me with like a new set of 35s. Maybe he got Lame. carried away and did 37s. Lame. But he got 39s. Thirty-nine by thirteen and a half R seventeen, actually massive guys. Beef Goodrich KM threes. Now we do have the black ROH assaults on here, which yeah, I like them. We're not, are good. We're, we're not sure. There was a color change. Yeah, well, we wanted the machine full machine finish, but they're so popular. They're sold out in Australia at the moment, so so these are what we got. Is. So we got the black for now, but we were going a full machine finished which I was actually looking forward to because I pretty much only run black. But anyway. It's all right, when they come back, we'll get them We'll too. swap them over, let's get them off. I'm keen to see what these look like, to what be honest. <laughs> <laughs> They're actually heavy as hell. Aren't they? I 
I couldn't help but notice she looks a little bit shinier. A Mate, little? A lot. Only a little. It went from being basically a matte faded if blue like to actually, it's glimmering. Oh, that's sick. All right, let's get the rest of these tires down. And we're gonna bang them on, but man, that, that's a big difference, eh? Hey? Yeah, this side come up first. That's up sick. Oh, wow. Wow, that's like new. Yeah, that looks like a paint job. Because it was. I once took by my, time. This time. Oh, this, wow. This side I did first, that side I rushed because I didn't have much time. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so what are you saying? It's the good side he didn't half ass. Well, because it was so, so bad, it would just block the, wow. buff the pad. It would block the pad. You'd do this and the pad would be done. Yeah, right. So, this side looks sick. Just got rid of some of the sand. There was a bit of sand in yeah. it. Yeah. It needs some new upholstery and, and maybe change the car carpet colour and she's... Yeah, the upholstery's a bit yuck. Guys, this is stage one, so... I wouldn't even say this is stage one. Maybe it's one point and a half. Two five? Point two five. Yeah, it's not even point five stage. Yeah, it could be stage one of ten. <laughs> 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 Is he gonna fit? <laughs> I'm not gonna... worried, you're worried. I'm gonna need a hand to lift it, I think. Yeah, you're right. Bro, I don't Beautiful. think it's gonna fit. It fits, look. Why well, don't you lower it? We might need to do a bit of a... Uh... It's fine. You mean more lift? <laughs> I don't think it needs more lift. I think it needs less guard. There's no flex in this thing anyway, so. Well, I really actually wanted to go 40s. Nah. Yeah, baby. Let's get the rest of these wheels on. What a beast. This might be my new favorite car, and you already know which one's coming. The Chevy might be the coolest car out of all the ones we've got. The main reason we decided to, all we were doing was changing tires, was to get rid of the dirty Coopers, but, dirty. <laughs> How's the size difference? Look, I wanted to order the same size in a dispatch, said they all they had that. It was a mistake. So <laughs> we're not 100% sure how it's gonna drive. I dare say I'll probably have a set of dailies. We'll get a set of 35 um, BFGs. I might paint these rims up, might get them powder coated white, and they'll be our dailies, and these will be the show wheels. So we can chuck them on for the Brizzy show. Yep, full blown wank factor, but geez, it looks good. So what have we got, a four inch increase over those ones? Yeah, they're four inches bigger in diameter. So two inches higher now. Two inches higher. So it's just a two inch lift. Settle down everyone, it's all right. It's only diff clearance, an extra two inches. <laughs> Never goes astray. Can't tell me you wouldn't do with an extra two inches. Good job, mate. Thanks, mate. That never, was an easy one, really. I, I never doubted you. Hey, that's only stage one of 10. No, 0.25, remember? 0.25. Of 10. Let us know in the comments, guys, what should we do to this big girl? Do we do a full ground up resto? Do we burn it to the ground? That's probably not <laughs> the best option, but do we burn it to the ground? Do we go bigger tires? Do we make it a full flex monster? Do we take the Close canopy it. off? Do we redo all the interior? Do we leave it the way it is and just drive it? So we want to know what you think. If you want to support this build, guys, have a go. Yes. This, this could be my new favorite t-shirt. I'm keen to know what engines people want to run. It's got a 400 in it right now. Uh, they come out to 250, a 253, a 350, and a 400. So it's got the 400. Do we go a 454 big block? Do we throw like, can we throw a Cummings in it? That'll upset people. Toyota, um, Nissan V8. Yeah, what about the, uh, what's that one? Y62. What's that? Yeah, the Y62 V8. That could be a hell yeah. conversion. Let us know, guys. This is a blank canvas. We really have zero plans other than what we've just done. So we are going to read these comments and we have, we have no idea. Reading? I'll read them, I'll let you know. Berkey right. can't read You can them. read. And now, if you haven't, jump over and check out the brand new Explore Dream platform where every single month we're giving you guys the opportunity to live the Explore life. There's epic discounts, there's exclusive merch, um, and who knows, maybe one day we'll give the blazer away. Oh. 
Yeah, we're not giving the blades away. <laughs> anyway, till next time, get out and enjoy the explore life. Thanks for watching. Legends.